Hi everybody, uh, I'm doing a follow-up video to the one I did uh, last week uh, with relation to North Devon house prices. Um, I've had a couple of conversations with people this week, um, a couple on LinkedIn and um, over the phone, where uh, people have obviously watched the video, looked at the, um, the stats that are coming out from Rightmove in terms of a sort of significant drop in, in prices in North Devon and wanting to know, they've been on the market perhaps a few weeks, uh, months themselves, hadn't really had any interest, wasn't sure what to do, and just wanted a, a bit of a review of, of their situation and a bit of advice. Um, so I took a look at uh, their property marketing and did a bit of a review and gave them some advice. But the big sort of main question that was coming up was, you know, what do we do? We, we accept, if we accept that the prices have shifted a little bit, what do we do to compensate for that? Is it just a matter of dropping my price? I can't really afford to do that, or it's going to be very difficult to do that. So um, the, the the simple answer to that is not necessarily. So what's really important is that you you do have a review of your marketing and where you stand and why you're not getting the, the level of activity that you're getting. Incidentally, some people were asking for where do they go to see the prices so they can monitor it and things like that. So I'll put um, a couple of images uh, on the video to show the screenshots uh, of what... Uh, Rightmove have on their site but basically if you just google um, Rightmove house prices it will bring you to that page nine times out of ten and you just put the area so you can be as specific as you want we've obviously used North Devon as a broad area but you can be as specific you can look, put your village your town postcode etc and it will give you uh, sold prices for that area and you can there's a couple of filters there that you can play around with as well which is really really useful Bear in mind that's going on sold prices, so they're always going to be a bit of a lag uh, in terms of those figures. So they're going to be at least three three months behind what the market is doing right now. So uh, bear that in mind when you when you're looking at those. So in terms of what you what you can do about it, I mean the biggest question that you know everybody always wants to know what they can do if their house isn't selling. What should they do? Um, and, and really, we always look, when we do a review, we start with going back to basics, really. So it's looking at three core areas, uh, which is uh, not, necessar not necessarily in order, uh, price, presentation, and marketing. Um, what we would tend to do for our own clients and what we would recommend to people who are currently on the market is that you start with your uh, presentation and marketing and then look at your price. The reason to do, for doing that is it may maybe something in your marketing and presentation of your property that is um, preventing or, or causing some issues with you getting the right level of interest in your property. It might not necessarily be the price. And by starting with the price and tweaking that first, which is normally a kind of lazy estate agent tactic of, oh, well, we can't sell your house, so we're just going to reduce the price. That's what we need to do. Rather than looking at how they're promoting the property, what the presentation's like, are the photos good, is the write-up good? Have they changed anything around? Is it the same photos, et cetera, et cetera? So there's lots of different things that you can look at. Um, <clears throat> definitely start with your, your presentation. That's something that you can control probably more than anything else, uh, being the homeowner, uh, particularly if you're living in the property. Uh, it can be difficult if you have a family home. I totally understand that. Uh, but presentation is really absolutely the most important thing because that's the first thing visually that buyers, potential buyers are going to see when they're looking at your uh, portal listing on Rightmove or whatever uh, portal your, your agents are putting your property on, whether they're looking at it on social media or whether they're getting a brochure through the post, whatever it is, those photos are your first port of call. It's going to be the first impression that most buyers are going to see. So really important that you get your presentation down. Uh, I'll put a link in the video to our guide on how to, to get your presentation on point. But the basics are obviously be very, very clean. Make sure you've cleaned and decluttered every room that's being photographed. You don't have to photograph every single room in the house. In fact, we'd advise you, you don't do that. Um, but certainly the primary rooms like living room, kitchen and master bedroom at least. Um, dining room, if you have a separate dining room, gardens, if you have nice gardens. Not necessarily bathrooms unless it's a super wowy, amazing bathroom. Um, and not necessarily the second, third, fourth, fifth bedroom, what have many you've got. So just focus on the on the key ones, declutter those rooms, present them and stage them as best as you can to look nice with some fresh flowers, some fresh fruit, something interesting. Declutter your kitchen and worktops. Uh, don't leave loads of stuff on top of your worktops or under your beds or anything like that. Try and take them out just for the photos. Try and take them out 
of the room um, because as I say you want your spaces to be as attractive as possible but as I say there's a guide a link to a guide for looking at that once you've got your presentation down and that includes your outside spaces as well so obviously think about curb appeal um, but once you've got your your out uh, your presentation on point um, get your photos redone by your estate agent and if they don't want to come back out and take photos then that should be a red, red flag because you know they should be have a vested interest in selling the property and improving the marketing um, once that's done make sure that they upload those to uh, right move and all of the portals your brochure is updated properly all of that stuff so starting in fresh really um, and see how that goes before you reduce the price or do anything else um, you know refresh your marketing ask your agent to post it on their social media channels again uh, if they offer uh, online um, sort of social media advertising ask them to put an advert through with the new images and the new presentation and see if that generates some more viewings nine times out of ten it will um, we often review our photos of our properties we look at the right move stats and we weekly look at the photos and if we feel that it's getting a bit stale or they're not getting the level of interest that we should we will rotate the photos around and just see which photo appeals more to different groups of buyers because there's always different buyers looking for different things some people will be majorly focused on outside space and views Others will be focused on the kitchen and living spaces. Others will be looking at bathrooms and bedrooms. So mix it around, particularly, you know, start with things like if you've been listing with the front front image of your property, uh, maybe change it to uh, a kitchen photo, especially if you've got a really nice kitchen photo um, or an aerial shot of your property showing your position if you're in a really nice country location or a coastal location. Um, that can really make a, a, a massive difference. Uh, then you can go and look once you've given that two, three, four weeks, maybe even more than that, six weeks to eight weeks, probably maximum. Then uh, if nothing's changed and you're still not getting anything positive, um, ask your agent to get some feedback from the people that they are speaking to about your property. Uh, if they've sent details out or they've sent emails out, ask them to follow up on those emails and ask people, do they want to view the property? And if not, get some feedback as to why. Some of that might be very specific to their needs and requirements. Your property just doesn't fit their requirements, but they might be giving some feedback in terms of it looks too small, it's not presented well, it needs too much work. Those are all uh, feedbacks that are really important and can give you an, an indication as to what you can do uh, about pre presenting your property in the future. Um, and then have a look at your price. Um, it's really, really important that you are aligned with the market as best as possible. You will see from the stats that I, I talked about last week, and uh, if you look online and do your own research, you'll see that a certain proportion of properties will sell very, very quickly because they are either very, very well presented, very rare on the market, or priced extremely competitively compared to other properties. So look at your property in relation to other properties in your price range, in your style, so detached, terraced, whatever it may be. Look at other three-bedroom properties if yours, yours is three-bedroom, and compare and contrast the pricing uh, of those you want to be at least in the middle of those price that price range you don't want to be right at the top because the properties that are the most expensive in that range are basically helping the other properties sell because they're making the other properties in that price range look extremely good value for money and buyers will always be drawn to that uh, some properties at the top end will sell very well not, not saying that they won't but if they've been on the market for a long period of time they haven't adjusted their price Nine times out of 10, they're just helping the properties that are well priced lower down uh, to sell really, really well. So get your agent to review your pricing, uh, look at a pricing strategy potentially, um, so offers in excess of a certain figure. Make sure that that is not, they do not use a 99p or 999.50 or 999 strategy on your pricing. It doesn't work with regards to the right move uh, price bands and you could be missing out on your audience if you do that. So I hope that's uh, been of interest. If you've got any questions or queries, again, I'll put a few other links because there's a couple other um, articles on our blog that might be of use in relation to these topics. And um, if you want a property review for your marketing currently, you've been on the market for a while, it's not happening for you, um, I'm always happy to help. So just ping me an email, get in touch, message me through socials, follow me on socials. Uh, we're on YouTube. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn most predominantly. Um, follow me on LinkedIn. If you're on LinkedIn, I'm happy to answer direct messages uh, on LinkedIn. Same on Instagram and Facebook. 
although it's a lot easier on some of the other platforms. Or if you want to email me, my email is nick at matchproperty.co.uk. And uh, we can have a look at it, make some suggestions, see, see how it goes for you. Uh, I hope that's been useful and see you next time.